Hey everyone, good afternoon. Oh my goodness. So, all right. Well, it is a fall day and I love my fall clothes. I don't know about y'all, but I like to get comfy, especially when I'm sitting at my desk doing a lot of work and I'm really just building that that business, right? Building that that future. So as you guys are popping on, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see where everybody's coming in at. But today we're going to talk about some incredible things because over the last two weeks, I've been able to communicate with a lot of people that I don't necessarily always get to see face to face. And so it's been a really um, great time, but it also gives me insight to kind of what their struggles are, what's going on and what where they have their questions, their confusion, their overwhelmingness, right? So if that has, if you're like, yes, I'm confused, I'm overwhelmed, I'm not sure what to do, this person says this, this person says that, this leader says this, this mentor has this, who the heck do I listen to? Do I listen to Natasha? Do I listen to this person? Do, and, and I'm here to clear that up a little bit for you today. And so if that resonates with you, stick with us. It's going to be a great, a great content video for you today. I also have some incredible free things at the end I'm going to be sharing with y'all that you can um, earn. So I'm really, really excited about that. But how many of you guys are like, okay, Every single person is telling me social media is where it's at. Social media is where I need to be. Social media is where you'll crush it. But you're so frustrated and confused and overwhelmed and and knocked down and picked back up and knocked back down and picked back up um, trying to utilize social media. Give me a, a, you know, my hands up because I've been there. I still get there and I'm going to teach you and share with you some th- some strategies I personally use to stay in the truth, to stay in the truth because that's where you want to be and your truth is different than my truth and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. So if this is something that you know will resonate with people in your network, click that share button and send it over so they can watch this live with you. All right, so Many of you jumping on, my name is Natasha Robertson. I am the founder of Impacting on Purpose. I am also a boy mom of two incredible boys, a four-year-old who keeps me on my toes, a two-year-old or a six-year-old that is the sweetest little boy in the world. Um, And I am a seven-figure earner in a network marketing company and branching off and kind of doing some of my, my fun stuff of what I did to create that success for myself what are some of the strategies I failed forward through coming on here and sharing it with all of you guys for absolutely free because I know what it's like. I know what it felt like at that moment where you might be and you're just looking for answers and you're looking for that next thing or you're looking for what can I do differently or what did I do wrong, right? Those are all things that will go through my head and I had to stay in my path of truth and I'm gonna share some of those things with you. So if you'd like to, before we even get started, before we even jump into this nitty gritty, if you want to get just five tips that I'm not gonna share on this video, if you wanna get these five tips, um, right now into your inbox, just drop social media tips in the comments and we'll, I'll send that right over to you right now. It is five things I'm not going to really cover in depth on this, but it's five incredible tips that keep you to your truth. And I think they're most the, the most impactful things to see, have in your inbox, put them on a notepad, a journal where you can read them. So if you want those five tips, just drop social media tips in the comments and we'll get them over to you right now. Um, like I said, stick around to the end because we got a giveaway at the end, but let's jump into this. So are you confused? Are you overwhelmed? Are you... Wishing for momentum, losing momentum, not sure what to do. Like, what is the emotion that you have, the feeling you have when I say social media to grow your business? If I tell you, use social media to grow your business, what's the first thing you feel? Overwhelm, fear, unknown, confused. What is that? Drop, drop in the, drop below, drop below. Um, The first thing, I got four things I'm going to address in here. How much is enough, right? 
how much do I need to be on social media? How much do I need to share? How much do, what, how much? Is that something you ask yourself and then you wonder, is that enough or is that too much? Trust me, I do this all the time. I still to this day ask myself that question is what is enough? And the answer that I always get pulled back to, the answer that always comes full force in front of my face, the answer is it's up to your network. It's up to you. It's up to what they want what they respond to. Now that just might have just been like, oh, let me just throw the freaking, let me just throw the the papers up in the air because you were looking for an answer, right? You were looking for a number, a tangible thing, a number that you can go, I'm going to post this many times every single day. And I'm going to be here to tell you that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you post or how little you post. Here's the thing. Because each one of us is looking for a different thing from you. Every single person in your network, your friends, your family, your business partners, your future business partners, your friends to become your customers, your, right? Everybody has a different title in your network. Am I not right? So when you look at each person or each, you know, section, I could sit five of my family members down and I could ask them the same question in They won't hear everybody else's answers. If I just asked each one, five of them, and a question of how many pictures per day would you like to see of us and the boys? My grandma's going to say like 20. I want to see all of them. I want to see everything you do. And then my cousin who is 18 is going to say like two a week, (laughs) right? So When you're asking yourself that question, how much is enough and how much is not enough? The answer is, do you? What feels right to you? Who are you? Because at the end of the day, you want to attract your tribe and your tribe is going to feel your vibe. So if your vibe is to post once a day, but an impactful once a day, a share that's like very, you know, personal or tangible or valuable, Once a day, that's your vibe. Those that like that are going to stick with you. They're going to be your tribe, right? Whether they're family, friends, business partners, you name it, they're your tribe. But if you are like, man, I don't feel like I did enough. Like I really wanted to say a couple more things. So say them because that's what you're feeling. That's what you're doing, right? So Don't be beating yourself up, not knowing how much or how much is or isn't enough. It is really up to you. That is the deal. So how many of you right now are like, okay, in my gut, in my inside feeling, I am posting twice a day, once a day. What is your number? Drop it. Because I want to share with you all, we're all so different. For me, it's posting one to two times on my timeline. And I'm going to share with you my, what works for me, what works for my network and what keeps people around and not hitting block, delete and moving on, right? Um, So I post twice a day on my timeline. I also, if I have that inclination, that like feeling to like, oh my gosh, I got to share this. I got to share this. I got to share this. There's now Facebook stories where you do that. Pretty cool, right? So I personally will do one to two, usually two on my timeline. And then I will post additional things that I'm just having this urge and excitement to share in my Facebook stories. Cool? All right. Every single one of us is going to be different. I'm not talking about other platforms yet. We'll get to that for sure. So how much is enough? How much is not enough? you decide. You also, as a business owner, want to track your results, right? So do you know when you post five times a day, what your track record looked like? Were you losing friends? Were you losing followers? Were you losing comments and likes? Maybe you were gaining them. Do you know? What if you only posted once a day? Are you losing followers, losing friends, or losing comments and likes? Or are you gaining them? 
right? That is truly how you're going to find out how to decide what is best for you and your business and attracting the tribe you're looking for using social media, okay? All right, so the second thing is live video, right? Live video. It's scary. How many of you guys are still scared to go live? Maybe you've done it, maybe you've never done it, but you just still get nervous. Um, Trust me, I've been there. There's some topics I still get nervous to talk about live, so I just want to just put this out here. You will see mentors, you will see industry individuals who say, go live every day. You'll see people who are successful say, go live once a week. You're gonna see everything in between. The thing that also is going to answer this question is what is it to you? What is the answer to you? To you. Not to this industry leader or this industry leader or this person in my company doing this and this person in my company doing this and this person over here doing this and this person in this other company doing this. Forget about all that. Look at what they're doing and go, okay, okay, I see you. I'm listening. I'm watching. How does this fit into my tribe? The tribe I want to attract. How does this fit in? Is your tribe 100% all in, every day, balls to the walls, gonna do it, social media, boom, 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 boom. They're probably going to want to see you live every day. They're gonna wanna see you busting it out on social media like cray cray, right? But if your tribe is maybe something similar to mine where they're moms, they have a dream bigger than what they're living in right now, but they're moms and they may also have another job and they may also have all these other responsibilities as a wife and as a mom and all these things. If I were to attract those people would that look like a live video every single day not in their world they would not be attracted to me and so know who your target market is your tribe who is your tribe when you know your tribe and what their days look like what their abilities look like what their capabilities look like to utilize social media that's how you also will show up Maybe a step up, but you definitely ain't going to step it up 10 levels compared to the tribe you're trying to attract. Because if I did 10 videos a week on my Facebook, one platform, if I did 10 videos a week and I'm, I'm attracting my target tribe, they're going to say, great, you're awesome, but ain't no way I can do that because I'm a mom. I got this, this, and 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 then I need like 10 more hands, right? So know who you are, your tribe target is. And that also will lead you to your answer of how many lives per week, per day, am I supposed to do to be there for my tribe, to be there to attract my tribe, and to be there consistently, right? It's your decision, your choice. And if it isn't working out with what you're doing, evaluate Try something different, track it, and change. What might I do different? I want to attract this many more people. What might I do different? Because I'm not getting it with what I'm doing now. That's how you decide. So I'm not here to tell anyone that this person's wrong or this person's wrong or what I do is wrong or right. I'm here to tell you everybody's right because they're doing it for their tribe they're attracting. Pretty cool, right? Does that, does that decrease your sense of uh, uh, overwhelming anxiety of I don't know what to do? Does that help a little bit? Because I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you I'm where, I've been where you are. I would see this person going live like three times a day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get on board. I got to do this and I got to do this. And it was so much. It was too much. It wasn't me. And it definitely wasn't the tribe I was trying to attract, right? So if this helps you, drop that in the comments. I'd like to know that, um, you know, it is or isn't helping you because I also love the, yeah, this ain't working for me too. (laughs) 
<laughs> um, so that's the second thing. What works is what you have found that works. Now, if what you're doing isn't working, you got to change. You got to change it. Flat out got to change it. And I don't care if we're talking about marketing on social media or we're talking about getting enough water in your day, right? You got, if it's not working, you have to change the way you're doing it. Bottom line, the third thing. Oh, this is a big one. This is a really, really, really big one. What social media platform should I be on? Which social media platform should I be on? Should you be on? Do you know? Take you back to the last one I just talked about where we talked about attracting your tribe. Defining who your tribe is, is what's going to give you the better understanding of what platform you should be on mostly. Right? So if I, you all, I already shared with you my, my platform, my tribe, right? It is moms looking for more. They have a dream of something bigger than where they are right now. They want more for themselves and their families. They want to contribute more than just being that incredible mom that's the hardest job ever, but they want more. And so I know that's who I want to attract. So for me, I am a little bit of a blended platform because they're looking for that lifestyle, which is on Instagram. They're looking for that insider view of reality, authenticity, which is Facebook. They're looking for how-tos and (laughs) what-to off of Pinterest, right? They're all over. So for my target tribe, it's a little blend. But for yours, it may be just Instagram. It may be just Facebook. It may be just Facebook with a little tapping into Snapchat. I don't know, but you do. And you will figure that out when you know who you're trying to attract. Who is your tribe? Who's your perfect perfect tribe? Who does that consist of? What characteristics, personalities, um, dreams, goals, and um, I lost the word I was going to use, but who, who are they? That's how you know what platform they show up on and where you are going to put your energy. Bottom line. So if I'm, if I'm a blended, I've had to learn to balance things, right? If I don't balance things, I'm not going to be consistent anywhere, anywhere. And then I'm not going to attract anyone. So when you, um, if you haven't, I know a few people have just popped on. I am talking about some of the social media things that we um, have confusion, overwhelming frustrations with. But if you also want five other tips that I'm not talking about on this live video, drop social media tips in the comments and I'll send those over into your inbox immediately. And um, so social media tips, Drop it in the comments if you would like that free resource of five things I'm not talking about on this live. So let's talk about that fourth thing. Who is correct, right? Is it this industry leader? Is it this coach? Is it this coach? Is it this person who says they're a coach? Is it this person who says they ha- they can take you to success but don't have the success that they actually um, say that they're going to take you to? I laugh about that out of all respect, but it's kind of funny. Um, people want to coach you who aren't even where you are. Hmm. Interesting, right? So who is correct? Who is correct? You, you are correct. If you decide my tribe that I'm trying to attract, the tribe that's going to be attracted to me wants to see one video a day, you're right. You're correct. If the the tribe you're attracting is busy moms, crazy, right? They're going to want not an intense structure of what you're putting out there because they don't got time every day for that. But what they will want is to see you show up consistently, drive the value to them, show them what it takes to be where you are, where they want to be, and give them the belief in themselves to do it. That's what my tribe wants. So whatever that looks like for you and your tribe, that's the right answer. 
And when you see, when you get that five tips, um, social media tips in your inbox, social media tips in the comments, when you get that, those five are going to be your foundation of what this looks like for you. It is. It doesn't matter the number. This person says go live 10 times. This person says go live twice a week. This person says go live um, every single day. Who's right? You are. You are right. So track it. Know what works. If you're losing followers and likes and comments, then they may be wanting more or less. If you're doing too much, drop it down. See what happens. Um, If you're doing too little and they want more, bump it up. See what happens. It's a tracking thing. You're in business, right? You are an entrepreneur. So you got to take ownership of understanding what the numbers look like. I know I hate numbers too. I hate numbers. I hate them. But if I am determined to create the success that I know I can do, that I know is possible, I have to know the numbers. And especially with social media, the numbers are there for you to see. The numbers are there to track easily. So just doing that stuff. So um, as we close in on the last thing, which I told y'all I'm going to do is a giveaway. Um, Social media, like we all know, is confusing and they're ever changing That stupid, someone posted that stupid algorithm that's constantly changing and none of us can keep up on, but we think we got it and then we look, we don't the next day. Um, Who, what tools have helped me the most to create the success that I have been finding on social media? It's a blend, I'll be honest. It's a blend of failing forward, learning that I am the one that's correct, not this person, that person, or this person. Y'all just learned that in this whole video from me um, with each of the four topics. But one tool that was extremely, extremely meaningful, sorry, just got a call, um, meaningful, it took my confusion and dropped it down many levels It gave me the belief that what I was doing was right. And it gave me the understanding of what I was doing could be tweaked to be better. It was a easy read and a valuable read that seriously, that thick, you can literally read it in like, I don't know, uh, three hours or less with taking notes. So if you all want to be entered to win, maybe one, And depending on how many entries we get, maybe like 10 of these incredible books, then I want to make sure that you have that. So you you will get a second opt-in to create your entry, get your ticket in to be one of the winners of Ray Higdon and Jessica Higdon's Freakishly Effective Social Media for Network Marketing. Um, I instantly, when I saw this, I'm like, "Eh," rolled my eyes, another one of those books. But guess what? Needed to read it because I got to say, I'm curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Plus, I'm always willing to be coachable and learn from things, right? This book has been an impactful tool for me and I want to bless it to you all. And so make sure you enter to win this. And if you already have the book like Kimber has, enter anyways because you could win and you could be giving this to somebody else that is looking to amp up their success using social media. So even if you have the book, enter because you can still win this to be then the gifter to somebody else. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome? Like the giving book that never stops giving. (laughs) Um, So guys, make sure you enter to win that. But first and foremost, I want you to understand, I want you to Take ownership in knowing that you are correct. What you know is right for your tribe and the tribe you're attracting is correct. What you know is correct about what you're doing is the truth, right? Nobody can tell you any different. If the results are happening, nobody can tell you what you're doing isn't right. Now, if the results aren't happening, it is time to say, what might I do different? 
And it's time for you to take ownership of your business and know the numbers. Numbers will lead you to where you have to go. Numbers will show you what's working and what's not working. Numbers will allow you to have this comparison to this comparison and go, oh my gosh, I know what to do now. And it also gives you understanding of what is happening and not happening in your business using social media. Social media is a beast and it can grow your business so fast and it also can be so frustrating and confusing that it completely stops all your momentum because that's your focus and your focus is on social media and your focus is dead and your focus is not moving and you forget about all the other tools that can help you grow yourself and your business too that aren't attached to social media. So with that, I want to say have a great rest of your day. Click the share button if this was something you know somebody else needs to hear. I would appreciate that share. And like always, if you cre- if this was valuable to you, if you got something from this, drop value in the comments. And um, also, don't hesitate to hop on over to my website, natasharoberson.com. Tons of resources over there, blog posts there that you can download stuff, more things in there. Um, we, we keep growing that and growing that with all the content I give away all the resources I give away, drop, head on over to the website, check it out. Uh, We just rebranded things. It looks a little different, which is pretty cool. And um, got a lot of fun things coming your way. So with that, have a great rest of your day and we'll chat soon.